guess what today is? Can you read? Happy birthday to me. Yes, I am turning 60. <laughs> yes, 60 years old. So, for my birthday, I thought I would do this silly thing by blowing up some balloons, blow some bubbles. I have my bubbles here. And no, I don't really want to do that. So, what we're going to do, I want to show you how hard for me this was. So, I got the six and the zero. And this does not look like a zero, but hey. So, I managed to get it this far, but I'm not sure why I can't get it any further. So, Let's have some fun. Watch me blow this up. It won't blow up. I don't know why. I have pushed it in. I have pushed it all the way up there to where I guess it was the seal. So I'm not sure why it will not blow up. But anyway, you get the drift. I'm 60 years old. I'm looking forward to it. So for my birthday, I went on a um, yarn hiatus where I wasn't buying any yarn only because I wanted to save up to get me an adding machine. Well, I didn't know that my husband was going to buy one for me. So I could have bought yarn at the same time, I guess. I don't know. So what I'm going to show you first, he didn't really just buy yarn. <clears throat> Excuse me. He also bought me, I mean, he didn't just buy me an adding machine. He bought me some yarn from one of my favorite places to buy yarn for like size two or one weight, lace weight. So he went to um, Bill Rita, and I think this will be my fourth time I've bought from them, and I really, really like their prices. I haven't found anybody that beats them yet. So, I'm going to show you what I got, and then I'm going to break it down into price-wise and let you see um, why I think it's the cheapest. Okay. So, the first one, this is number mm, 317 this is 317 okay so it's going to be one of those days so let me do Those are some beautiful colors. So let me stop this because I'm not happy with this. All right. I apologize for the blur on my glasses. It's my monitor reflecting back in. So let's carry on with this yarn. So this number is 3112. And look at that color. I'm going to put it in front of my face. Maybe it won't. Um... It's got some um, light green, light pink, pink, a mix of purple and a purple in it. And I really like that color. I wish they had names on them. So I already showed you this one and I'll show you again in case it did not look very good in the camera. So this number is 317. It's got orange, yellows, blues, teals, very pretty. Oh, and I might read what's on these, huh? So, each one of these, it says if you're using knitting needles, it's a 2.5. If you're going to crochet with it, you might want to use a 3 millimeter. Um, to make a top, it says 500 grams. 
it is a super fine number one and you can machine wash you can iron you're to not to put it in the dryer and we do not bleach our yarn okay I think everybody knows that it is called yarn art rose garden and I truly love all their colors I wish I could buy every one of their colors but my husband did very good picking these colors I love the colors so the next one this one is number 309 I can't get 309 trust me it's 309 and there's the colors although that looks yellow this is actually orange so you have there is yellow in it right there that's yellow and then you have strips of yellow where it's probably because um, there is four strands in here so you start off with all orange then they take one strand out and they add a yellow in there then they take another orange out then they add white in there and it goes down to where it's just a cream color right there so yes that is orange I wish it would show an orange but it does my camera's not going to show that so so that's that one and this one is number 319 and look at those greens yes it's funny how this green will show up but the orange one so this one is 319 and the last one of course you know it had to have some pink in it but this is pink and a green and a mixed green this is very pretty I really love this one well I can't lie I love them all so anyway let's do this and we'll put these all back and I want to so when I when he went shopping now we're gonna be doing in euros okay so when he went shopping they were ten dollars and or ten comma fifty euros so I did the when I opened this I checked to see what the price is as of that day so I don't know what it was then okay because the currency exchanges all the time so for one 10 comma 50 euros equals eleven dollars and 35 cents on the day that I did this okay and he got five of them one two three four five it came to 52.50 euros and it came to 56 dollars and 75 cents american money the shipping was 19.50 euros it was 2108 in american money so i divided that by five it came to 77 dollars and 83 cents and i divided it by five that was 15 dollars and 57 cents a piece so I went online and I looked to see if anybody could beat the 1557 and I did not find any you may find it for six dollars and 99 cents but it's like twenty dollars shipping so I highly recommend anybody to go check out Bill Rita I really like it they also have uh, acrylic cotton they have all kinds please go check that out I will leave it in the description below all right so very happy with that he did awesome so my next thing that he got me was an Addy machine Ugh. this one is the professional which is the tiny one the baby Addy and I have not opened it yet I can't wait to uh, open it and see what it is but wait there's more I got three books of course I'm not the only one that's ever got an adding machine but I act like it huh so but three books and I have thumbed through them and I think I'm gonna oh I'm just gonna be very busy I really like every one of these what I see in there so and then the 
king size Abby. Whoops, which way do I go? The king size. Okay. Look at that. Who would not feel special on their birthday receiving this? So, my husband is a big supporter of my channel, of me, and anything I want to do or go to do. Okay, so, I'm really looking forward to working on the adding machine. And I wanted to show you a couple things that I have been working on. So the one behind me, hope I don't make a mess of everything, is I made a um, hexagon cardi, a cardigan, using the same stitch, and it turned out beautiful. So, and I still busted my stash, so I decided I was going to make a blanket too. So here is, I'm just gonna hold it up. Hopefully it's in the camera and you can see what it looks like and it doesn't blow out. So this is a four by three and each square is 16 inches wide. So that is something I'm working on. I'm still trying to figure out what I wanna do with the border on it. So that's that. Now, my other one that I'm still working on, I thought I would have it done by now. Oops, no. But, so this is an update on the uh, MUI, MUI. So I never know how to pronounce it, but I'm just gonna say moi moi um, top that I saw a picture of and I wanted to, um, duplicate it because I went searching for it and there's no pattern out there so I'm just you know looking at it and trying to figure out so there you go I'll do half of it so you got the granny squares there let me see if they're so you got the granny squares you got the Jacob's ladder and then you got a front and back rib front post, back post ribbing on it, and you will, um, I did a double crochet down the arm, decreased, I'm down here, I have not finished what I want to do with my sleeves yet, I will probably do a ribbing on that too, pull them in, so, um, the, pat, the picture has fur, around the neck well I live in Alabama and if I was to ever wear this I definitely wouldn't want fur on me because it'd be way too hot this may be way too hot anyway to begin with but and it had a zipper up I'm not too keen about putting a zipper in but hmm, we'll see it's been sitting in time out for a while so there you go that's what that looks like on its way to being done So, actually, I haven't really, I've done a lot, but I don't want to bore y'all, so. So, happy birthday to me. It's okay to drop a line and say happy birthday because you only turn 60 once. And anybody else have a birthday today? Happy birthday to you. So. That is all I have to do and say. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. And love to all. Stay creative with your mind and be creative with your hands. Peace out.